Hi everyone, this is Kroneko. I'm going to talk about the narrow mementos and the rules. And if you guys want to know more about the narrow, you can watch my previous video. I will post the link in the description below. And then for this mementos, well, this mementos never released when the narrow first released with the eyes. I think it released after 2 months or 3 months, I forgot. And then it is a limited mementos as usual. And then for the group skill, it increased the magic attack and single resistance wood, as well as it increased the magic and speed and cast time reduce. And then if you mass break this mementos, her buff turn plus one. Since I remember she have the area buff skill as well as the charge skill. Yeah, the charge skill magic attack time three. Well, basically it's a two turn. Yeah, so it's very good as well. And then for the BJ BT, it is a dark magic attack with silence and death sentence status and it's a hundred percent and push away the opponent three square away. And the shooting range is a five, so it's quite good. And then if you mess with these mementos, the overall skill power increased quite a lot. So she will be using this skill quite often during the arena. And then this is the leader skill. For the 10 commandment or beta temporal mementos group, all of them will have the HP plus 60%, physical attack plus 20%, and magic attack plus 20%. This leader skill is very good for arena actually. This group skill is very good for arena and some health quests, but it's not a very good leader skill for raid boss. And then it increases the swarm versus pride and grip by 30%. So the total power is only 50% against a great boss. Yeah, so it's not so good against a great boss. And then for this memento skill, it is an armor and it increases the maximum HP quite a lot and also have the silent resistance, magic attack up and cast time reduce. So the overall status is quite good, especially the cast time reduced by 20%. So if you combine with the Mementos group skill, her cast time reduced quite a lot. And then for the Weber ability, it is a dark magic attack. And if the enemy has any bad status, this skill power gradient increase plus the enemy will have the dark resistance gradient down for 3 turns. So this skill can be very very good, but provided the enemy can get any bad status, just to get the dark resistance now. Yeah, it reduces quite a lot. And then this is the runes. Well, my set bonus is increase the magic attack plus 10% and accuracy plus 10. Yeah, I think this will be the best for her, especially for the arena or anything. And then for the first rune, it is the best to get all magic attack up plus 5. So total up will be 15. Even though I'm using the yellow runes, but it's okay. As long as all the magic attack is plus 5, it will be alright. But of course, if you have the red runes, go ahead as well. And then for these runes, you can use pierce resistance or shooting resistance or magic resistance. Yeah, either way. Since because of the Ainana, well, that's why I increased the pierce resistance. If you are fighting against the Tifarito, it's the best to equip with the shooting resistance. Yeah, either way. Or magic resistance against the light and media. And then the rest of the rune, well, basically it's anything, as long as it increases the basic status quite a lot. Yeah, almost max. And then speed and HP. Yeah, either way. So it's only this first rune and this second rune. Get the best passive if you can, especially this one. Get all five to increase the overall magic. And lastly is my Kaigan gates is only like this. 5-5-2-4-5-5. Five, 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 five. Well, if I master this gate, it further increases the HP and defense. But I not enough of her shards. And then for the mementos, the sub mementos, I think the best would be the ice mementos. Because it also further increases the HP as well as the speed plus 5 from this one. You see, have the narrow. And of course, you can switch to this Zubai mementos. It further increases the magic, but it's only this two group skill. Yeah, so beware. Or uh, maybe Fia. Well, increase the magic defense and so and so. But the best would be the eyes, of course, because of the speed plus Y and the HP up. Plus the dark attack plus 13, minus 50%. And then, and so and so. And then for the gears, well, this gear is from the Zubai Mementos. 
He further increased her magic attack since she cannot equip any weapon so any accessory that can increase her magic attack will be good enough and then for the last gear this one is from the ice mementos it further increase the speed and the dark attack and also increase the maximum jewel of course you can equip with any accessory that increase the speed will be good enough okay next is i'm going to try out at the arena dojo let's see how powerful she really is with the mementos everything Compared with my previous video, okay, let's go. Okay, let's check her status first. Well, I'm using her Memento Leader skill, so the HP increased quite a lot, and also increased the magic attack and physical attack, and so and so. As you can see, the speed is quite high with the Memento Scoop skill. And then next is the normal attack. She has the shooting range of one and two for the normal attack, and let's see the damage. Not bad. And then let's see this skill. Swamp versus a human as well. The damage is decent. And then this one. Well, it's a whole map damage. So it's nothing much. But it reduces the opponent evasion. So it's quite good for some uni, except for Laftalia. Because Laftalia usually evade this attack. And then this one. Okay. The area attack is quite big as you can see. And you also reduce the opponent speed. So it's quite good. And then next is a side ability, this one. Well, this skill is really nothing much. It only reduces the opponent magic resistance. Okay, next is this one. This skill is very good because it is an instant cast and with the stop status of 60%. Okay, next is the master ability. This is from the weapon ability from the mementos. Let's see the damage. Well, not bad. At least it is an instant cast. And then this is the Memento BG ability, that's it, the damage. Okay, I think this is the highest damage of all skill. As you can see, have the 100% silence and death sentence. And it is also an instant cast. So usually she will be using this skill most of the time during the arena. Okay, next is I'm going to use this buff to increase her all parameter and the dark attack. Let's see after this buff. How much the damage increase for off the skill? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see her status first. Well, not really that bad for 3 or 4 turns. As you can see, the magic attack and the speed. As well as it also increase the maximum HP. So usually she will be using this skill from the start during the arena first turn. And then let's see the normal attack. Not bad for the 4 turns. And then how about this? Whoa, quite nice. And this one, not bad. And then for the master ability, this one, okay, not bad. And this one, whoa, quite nice. Okay, next is if the opponent has the dark resistance down and magic resistance down. Let's see the overall damage increase by how much. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start from the normal attack first. Whoa, not bad. And then this one. Okay, quite good. How about this one? Whoa, 24k, not bad. And the uh, master ability. This one. Whoa, the damage is quite high. But because the opponent have the best status, that's why the damage increase. How about this one? Not bad, 33k. Okay, lastly is I'm going to use the magic attack time 3. Let's see the overall damage increase by how much with the buff up. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start from the normal attack first. Whoa, suddenly the damage increase quite a lot for 2 turns. And how about this one? Whoa, it's 41k, nice. Even though it's strong versus a human. And then how about this? Oh, 43k, not bad. And then how about the this skill? 55k, hmm, not bad, not bad. And how about this? Oh, 58k. I think this is the highest damage of all. So if you are using the Tisha, maybe her magic attack increased quite a lot. Well, conclusion is she plus the mementos equal monster. If you only have the narrow character only, maybe she's not strong enough, but with the Mementos, she's the monster. Yeah, because of the Mementos group skill and the gear. Makes her into a monster, especially against the arena. 
But of course, without my mementos, you can use her on the Hell Quest and the Red Box. But with the mementos, it further increases her attack and so and so. So I guess that's all about the narrow. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys got any questions about her, please comment. Please start and subscribe if you like this video. See ya, Sayonara. ヨギリのごとく。ヨギリのごとく。ヨギリのごとく。我に固執などするな。